obviously, in the first half, we, we defended, um, and I thought we, we swarmed to the ball and we were disciplined. And the most important part, we didn't commit all those just bad fouls we commit, the, the immature grabbing and guys driving you and you push them. We got to eliminate those fouls. And when we do, <coughs> uh, we, we got a chance to be a pretty good basketball team. Um, uh, and then offensively, I think we, we continue to play better. Uh, we, uh, uh, Jermaine has uplifted. It, he had someone on our team had to take a step forward from a leadership standpoint, and, and he was willing to do that. And now he's uplifted those other guys. He's taken that responsibility that everybody was trying to shy away from, not because they're not good, not because they don't want it, because – they didn't know how to take advantage of it. And he did. He said, the heck with this, I'm doing it. And he's uplifted. So now you're starting to see guys uh, starting to play a lot more aggressive on offense and defense, and uh, which is giving us a chance to, to obviously play better. Frank, you mentioned the uh, the defense, uh, the on-the-ball defense looked to be really tightened up. Was that just personnel or the way Missouri plays or just a, a renewed focus from the guys on how to guard the ball? No, it, it's – it's uh, we work at it every day. Man. And they, these kids, they take pride at it. I, I'm relentless on guys about that. It's – you know, not, like I tell them, if you're not willing to learn how to defend the ball, then the whole pipe dream about playing professionally, throw that out the window. And, you know, that's on you. As a coach, it's my job. They all say they want to be pros, which I get. It's my job to help them get there. Um, if you can't guard the ball, you better be one of those guys that's 30 every single night you play. Because if you're not, you're not playing for money, real money, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, so we're, we're, we, we work at it diligently. Um, uh, once again, Jermaine has a mindset. I don't mean to beat a drum here. He's got a mindset that he is just – and he's having, like, major breakdowns. Like, he, he, he's doing some stuff that, um, that I'm not happy with him about. But he's got a mindset that he's not going to give in regardless of how hard it gets. And he's willing to be vocal. He's willing to uplift. And he's willing to confront when people don't do what they're supposed to do. Uh, and since he's been willing to do that, I've got to give him some rope. You know, I can't, I can't hold him back. And uh, so, um, uh, but I, I think you're starting to see A.J. play better. I think Jermaine gives us a toughness on the ball. Uh, Trey Hannibal is not there yet, but he's starting to turn the corner slightly, little by little, to, to, to play within our structure. Uh, T.J. Moss fights that ball. I was so happy that his ball went in today because he shot it really good in practice yesterday. And T.J.'s a good shooter. He just needs that ball to go in for him. Uh, um, but he fights the ball. And, and uh, you know, uh, Justin's relentless. Um, uh, it's just Mike played the best game he's played in a uniform here today. And Mike, Mike's energy, his, his toughness, his, his uh, aggression is the best I've, I've ever seen him play with. Kind of sticking with Mike a little bit. He dunked again, obviously, today and, and took some charges. Is that you touched on, is that the best all-around performance you've seen from him? In, in quite a while, but just in terms of his aggression and his, and, and his offensive game coming together. So since he's from Estonia, does he qualify as a white guy? <laughs> so I guess white guys can dunk. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, it, it's, he can do that. Like he had another play late in the, I can't, no, not late. It's kind of maybe six, seven minutes into the second half where somebody drove the ball, made a great pass. Mike is exactly where he was at. They dropped it on him. Just crash, just go and crush it. But instead, he decided to shot fake it, and then he ends up missing the little bunny jump hook. Yeah, it's, you know, but he, he how many free throws did he shoot today? Ten. There you go. When's the last time Mike Kotsar shot 10 free throws? You know, he's being aggressive. He, he, and when he plays aggressive, he's a really good player. I'm, I'm really happy for Mike. I, once again, I, uh, um, senior playing his tail off to help our team. I'm, I'm, I've got so much respect for seniors. It's uh, uh, they, 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 they grow, they fight, they, they take my coaching, which is not easy, um, and uh, and then they spread their wings their senior year and go out and play their tails off. And I'm, I'm really, really happy for Mike.